I'd like to talk to you about the solar panels. We've got three of them, one, two, three, and together they're going to put out 270 watts of power when the sun's shining on them. And that power will go down into a generator called a Gold Zero, which has a battery in it, and it will convert the power that comes from the solar panels to either 12 volt or 120 volt. We also have the ability, because she was smart enough to order her van with an inverter and a second battery, to come off of the inverter and also use that for emergency power in case the sun's not shining, so she can keep her refrigerator running. So we had a lot of fun installing this. We had to custom make brackets, placing them in a position so they cleared the beams down below and we weren't drilling into anything important. And they stayed off of the roof because the roof have a curvature. We were able to position them this way and that way she can put something like a canoe or possibly an Ansel Adam type photography platform so she can shoot from the roof. That'd be fun. So back here we have a fantastic fan. That's the name of it. And it really is neat. Installing that was kind of tricky because when you start cutting steel metal, it uh, bounces quite a bit when you're going at it with a hacksaw. But we got it pretty good. It's all caulked in. It looks neat. And it's got a neat feature where when uh, you can set the temperature and then if it gets too hot in there, the lid will automatically come up. And when it cools down, it'll close. I'd like to take a second to point out some of the details besides the bracket. The brackets are all aluminum and they've got a sealant underneath them so they won't move and they're secured into the solar panels so nothing's going to move or vibrate. All three of the panels are connected through connectors in a parallel way so that we have our full 270 watts going down there. And Terry came up here and secured the wires with copper wire that won't ever rust. And we secured them mostly up off of the roof so they're not going to be banging or rubbing the paint and wearing out. The main connectors are hidden from the weather and the hole we drilled to go down to the goal zero generator is also hidden from the weather. Now we'll show you some detail on how we got here through this entire process. Hi, tonight we're mounting the brackets that are going to hold Terry's solar panels. We want them to be secure, make it hard to steal. So what I'm doing is going to drill a hole and tap a hole through the solar panel that these will fit in and then drill a bigger hole in the bracket. So the bracket is free to go up and down so the weight of the solar panel is not carried on the screws, but instead is carried on the solar panel. So what we've done is we've marked where the brackets go after we cleared the top of the van to make sure that we didn't drill into any cross members. And we marked where they're gonna be. So now I'm drilling the bigger hole, or excuse me, the smaller hole, the one that the screw is going to tap into. Okay, we have the drill, the hole drilled through the solder panel, and now we're going to mark it on the bracket. Now I will drill a larger hole in the bracket so the mounting screw can float in that hole. So you can see that our screw is free to go through this hole. So 
So you can see it's holding it in there, but it's free to float. <laughs>